2004, myself and some friends set up an organization called Community Creations and we started doing a whole range of different projects and Spun Out became one of those projects and then became the flagship project and then became the only project. <laughs> We joke about it in the past that it was cottage industry, but it really was because I was based in a cottage in, in Donegal and my friend Keith was based in a cottage in, in also in Donegal and we had dial-up internet and it was horrific. Hi, I'm Ian and today I'm going to tell you what I love about my place, Spunout.ie. So come with me and we'll have a quick tour. For me, Spun Out gave me a confidence that I never had before. Um, it was a group of young people um, involved in running the website and they, for the first time in my life, asked me my opinion on something that mattered and I've never been given that opportunity before. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the Spun Out team. I think Spun Out is even more important now than it was when I was growing up because there's so many sources of information out there and it's hard to know what's the authentic source out there. I think Spun Out's greatest asset is that it's run for young people, by young people. Marie, hundreds of thousands of, of young people access your website all the time, so what are they saying? We had no money and it, w it wasn't just this slick startup operation, it was a mess and we really had to slog and sweat and it took us about a year to even generate the most basic funding and then the momentum started to snowball and then we got up and running. And from there on, the rest is sort of history.